Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, for those of you currently dating someone new, let's find out what do they think about you. Today is the 31st of March, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.53 p.m. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo currently dating someone new. What do they think of Virgo? Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. The Empress in Love first at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, I don't know how many times the Empress has come out in so many of your readings already. So they're not very sure about you, Virgo, okay? They're not, but they will come to a conclusion eventually with the world right here. The It feels like they're very suspicious of you. Some uh, Page of Swords in Love first. It's almost like they don't actually trust you, okay? Look. Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords come up first. Or that they could be thinking that you don't trust them, that you are suspicious of them, okay? Could go vice versa. Six of Pentacles. They could be thinking that you're talking to someone else or that they could be thinking they need to talk to someone else, invest in other options as well, just to, you know, make sure that you are actually the one before they fully invest their time and their energy onto you, onto this connection. See, now, the cards are in love first, but it doesn't mean like it's bad. It just could mean them um, thinking like, okay, I'm going to delay my thoughts of, you know, thinking that, oh, Virgo is, is the one for me. It is at the back of their mind, right? Because the Empress here is also in reverse. So they may think of you as somebody that they would like to um, connect with long term, but they're still not sure because of the two of swords right here. So ten of wands, um, they could be thinking that, you know, let's see, let's see um, when we reach, you know, when I get to know Virgo better. But the ten of wands could, could also indicate you being somebody, they, them thinking that you're somebody very resilient, very hardworking, very smart. Nine of Cups here is in reverse. Okay. Virgo, either they think, again, it feels like it could go vice versa of some of you. Either they think that you, they're not happy that they would, or that they wouldn't be happy if they know that you are also talking to someone else, okay? But it could be them as well, thinking that, okay, I'm not very sure about Virgo yet. So I'm not sure if I would be fully satisfied with Virgo yet until, you know, some time passes by. They will come again, come to a conclusion with the world. And they do think that you are somebody very attractive or that somebody who is very worldly or very well-rounded. Um, you do embody a lot of... Uh, you do have many attractive qualities that they uh, appreciate, but that's not everything, right? Because the Ten of Cups here is in love first. Let's see more. You know, they could also be thinking you are insecure. I think I've already said that, that, um, yeah, constantly suspicious. Are they talking to someone else? Are they this? Are they that? Right? It could be that it could be them thinking that way about you or them thinking you think that about them okay let's see more so for those of you virgos if you've expressed that you don't want to have children or you don't like children ten of cups in reverse your children here this is just for some of you or that you can't have children or that you have children and something about the children part if this if you had a conversation like that with the person you're currently dating, um, they may think that, hmm, I'm not sure if, you know, that energy of 
I don't even know if I want children or not, but I don't want to not have that option, okay? That is for some of you, Virgo, if you did talk about children, or that energy of like, I don't know if we can, I want to be in a blended family, especially if you already have children or they already have children, then it could go vice versa. I feel like that could be a bit of an issue. That could be the two of wands and three of swords here. That could make this person, your person, think like mm, that is a bit of, you know, I'm not sure if I can do this or not, okay? Ten of Pentacles, yeah, I'm thinking about the future. There are two tens right here, right? Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, Hangman in reverse. Yeah, they could be thinking, okay, now with the Hangman in reverse, um, now I'm indecisive about Virgo, but I will see it. Time will tell. That's that feeling I'm picking up on. And the Ten of Pentacles, I'm unsure if we could build a future together, but I would like to see. Like, again, the person you're currently dating would like to see if there could be a future. But they, they are indecisive, though, because already two cards that are pointing towards I'm not sure if there could be a future because maybe something isn't very aligned. Um, like the world can indicate like a new chapter, something a chapter needs to close before a new chapter can begin. Maybe some something that they think needs to close before both of you can be together or start talking about the future or plan for the future. Hmm. They could be thinking Six of Pentacles that either you are very generous or that you're very sneaky when it comes to your money or sharing or like paying bills. They're not sure about that part. Again, you know, most Virgos are very generous, Six of Pentacles, so they may think you're very generous. Um, but right next to it is the Seven of Swords. I hope uh, Virgo, I don't like the Seven of Swords. I hope they don't think that you have a lot of money and that they can take advantage of it because the seven of, that's just for some of you, okay? If you already have a feeling that this person may like you or want you for your money, so that part, you know, it's not for all of you. But also, if that's not it, Virgo, they could be thinking, okay, um, that's Virgo. Even if Virgo has money, is Virgo generous, okay? If you don't have money, Virgo, you're not the, you know, the um, financially stable Virgos, then they could be thinking, like, I'm not sure if I want to be with Virgo because I'm afraid Virgo will try to, you know, leech on me. That part, again, is just for those Virgos who are not doing well financially because the Ten of Wands can indicate them thinking like, oh, maybe it's just too much of a burden uh, if Virgo has to, has, isn't, isn't stable financially and they have to like count on me, depend on me, or leech on me, right? So that's one thing. Let's see a bit more here, Virgo. Eight of Swords, the Tower. They could be thinking like they, they are preparing for the worst. <laughs> Okay, this person isn't the most, like, you know, positive person. Maybe I think, you know, they could be suspicious. Or they could be thinking that you are suspicious of them and, then so, and that something might reveal or that it could cause an ending. Okay, especially if Virgo, if you're constantly asking this person or through conversations where you, like, kind of don't trust them or interrogating them be thinking okay maybe at one point in time you know I won't be able to take it anymore if Virgo continues not to trust me or keep you know interrogating me but it could also go vice versa them thinking like they need to find out more because they don't want to be met with like a surprise big surprise so a lot of suspicious energy here like somebody feeling very suspicious and seven of pentacles and eight of swords so they've been thinking a lot about you i do see them wondering if they should continue to invest or fully invest or invest more into this connection with you 
Yeah, I don't want to actually sugarcoat things, okay, Virgo. Um, I do see them thinking that you could actually be the one that they want to build with, right? There's been a lot of things that make them kind of think that they need to sort of like wait and see more of you, you know? I mean, I, I guess that's normal, especially if this is someone, you know, kind of new that you're dating. New can be like within a year or less, or it could be a little bit more than one year. It's very subjective. For me, new is like one year, <laughs> one year or less. For some people, new is like one week, one month. Okay, anyway, just take what resonates with you, Virgo. This is your reading. I hope you resonated um, in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. If you want for the confirmation, a reading that's more accurate for you and you alone and not for the general public, you can uh, book me. All the information is in the description box below. And if you don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. That's, uh, go ahead and subscribe to that one as well. I do prediction reading for you know your weekly, monthly, um, yearly prediction reading as well as for other signs as well. And also I go live once in a while on that channel. So take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Love you. Bye.